New Hex. Welcome back to another new episode of New X. Today we're gonna do a quick tutorial of the brand new, just released Trident. We're gonna try something you might be interested in, but just don't figure out yet. So the idea of Trident is a combination of the pedal. So the best way to control your Trident is regarded as a pedal board. So the first thing you need to do is don't look in at these buttons because these are preset selecting buttons. What you need to look at is this, just these five buttons. You got the boost or overdrive or distortion and the effects, uh, they are compressor or filter or pitch shifter you can choose or the modulation or the delay or the reverb. What we're gonna do first is try the expression pedal. As you know, pedal boards got a lot of options on it and with the expression pedal you can control your pedals better so plug your expression pedal in this socket and go to the signal chain select these this one and you're in the expression pedal setting room so there are some options there there are four blocks in here and you can control it with these four buttons and please don't double click it because they will jump to the block right on here so back to the signal chain select these one and you can see in here on the page there are two pages so i guess normally people use from zero to hundred so i just leave it at the default setting so back to this page, there are few modules you can choose from the volume, reverb, delay, modulation, amplifier, effect, and the boost. So I'm gonna stay with the volume module because in this, using it as a volume pedal, you already have some tricks to do with it. We're gonna talk about it later. So at the parameters, in the volume, of course, it's just level, but in some others, like reverb, you can control the level or the decay, or in delay, you can control level, time, or repeat, something like that. So back to the volume, at this, you can even choose the different type of the pot. It's like the potentiometer in your guitar, normally we use a 250k or B 250k that's the letter in here means you got a type G type G type is actually a special type of B type and the B type which means your line will goes like this normally it's in a straight line in the main part so maybe I'm gonna stay with the B type and then back to the channel signal chain and select one preset you want to set it as a base. I'm going to stay with this one. It's called Take It Easy. Yeah, it's good for me. It's not my fault. I can't play guitar well. Yeah, so just take it easy. So. You can hear the volume pedal is working. What we're gonna try on the volume pedal is a technique called swell. That means you can control your guitar and make it sound like some string instrument like cello and violin. What you're gonna do first is pick a big, big reverb and set it in a very high level. So I'm gonna pick the whole delay and set it almost maximum. And just randomly pick a delay and something we're gonna try it. It's a very, very big reverb. So 
What's the difference between guitar and cello? That is, in the guitar, when you pick the string, you can hear the picking sound. You can hear the picking sound, but in the string instrument, there are no picking sounds. So, when you're using the volume pedal, you can play a note and then open your volume pedal. And what you heard is just the note itself and no picking sound. So with the volume pedal, we can do something like this. And you got some cool movie-ish cello sound. Something like Nolan's, v Nolan's movie, I guess. So, you got something I already did in the beginning of the video, a cello sound. One more important thing when we're using a new expression pedal, we're gonna do a calibration of the pedal. So hit the select button and the parameter button at the same time and you go to the setting, global setting and you chose the pedal calibration and you can see set the pedal at the minimum and press down and set it to max, press down and done. It's saving the data now. So you are engaged this pedal from here to here. With this technique, you can try something like cello or even something like violin with a time of practice and a special set of the volume pedal I'll show you now. So go to the calibration and set the minimum position at slightly at the minimum and back. And the maximum just a little bit, not at the end, and press. So now you can play the string and at the same time you engage the volume pedal. But because in this position, remember the range of the signal is in the minimum. So in here, it's not engaged yet. So when your foot moves to the minimum, the picking sound is already passed. With this, you can get something like the violin. So next, we're gonna try something different on the expression pedal, not just on the volume pedal. We can see in the signal chain, back to the pedal setting, you can select reverbs, I've set it to the decay. Yep. I think I can do better with my feet, so. And you can control your modulation with the depth. Rate, maybe we can control the rate. And I guess the wah pedal is the one most people want to try. So we're gonna select the module to effect 
and back to the effect, select, yep, yeah, it's in here. So, Thank you. 